Today we're going to show you in this video how we did the artwork with for the recent video we did where we printed on a metal heart, actually three metal hearts, and kind of a unique shape. And I want to show you how to handle doing that as well as how to do some uh, some clipping as well. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in actually a scan we took here of the, the actual heart, one of the hearts that we printed on. We actually scanned it in on our office scanner slash printer slash copier. Here it is. You see I put some white paper on the back behind it because it is dimensional. I didn't want any straight light to get into there. We have a representation of it right there. I'm going to go ahead and rotate that 90 just because it's easier to look at. <laughs> Double click on it. It allows me to access my bitmap editing tools. Do a real quick grab here and trim that down. Select it. Zoom in on it. And what we're going to do is we just need a really rough outline of this that's close. So I'm going to take my hand drawing tools right here. And I'm just going to do a quick hand digitize of this image. We are going to put a bleed on our artwork when we print it so we don't have to be right on the money. I'm going to typically when I do these I'll put about an eighth of an inch full bleed all the way around so it does allow us to have a little bit of room for error. In fact these hearts were not all exactly the same shape. They were pretty close, but they probably varied by a 32nd to maybe even as much as a 16th of an inch. So now I've got that completely digitized. So you get this blue heart. I want to take this and I want to make it softer corners on it because it actually was. It's pretty rounded. As you can see, we did a pretty good job here of our representation. I'm going to just bring a couple of these in a little bit closer to where they're supposed to be. You can either nudge or you can pick them up and move them by hand. Looks like we did a pretty good job over here. Bring those just around a little bit more down like that. There we are. So we've got a pretty good representation here of our heart. You can see, do this. So what I want to do now, for what, since I am working with this, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my bitmap. You can see we are so close there. It doesn't, doesn't matter with that. It doesn't matter if it's not a perfect shape. And I'm going to turn off my outline so I can see my fill so I can see what I'm working with. All right, so this is our first layer. This is actually going to be, we look at the full bed, this is going to be the outline that we're going to print to the bed. So we'll move that up here. And what I'm going to do at this point now is I'm going to add it, create another layer, right, layer two. I'm going to take this original heart that we worked with here. And I'll put an outline on that. We're going to make this in red. And in this case, about a 0.13, which is real close to a, an eighth of an inch. All right, and now we're going to, you'll see that'll be on layer two now is our red heart. That's going to be our actual clipping path. The blue line again is going to represent the line that we're going to print on the bed of the printer when we are ready to print for positioning. The red is going to be our clipping path. Last thing we need to do is now, once again, on layer two, we need to bring in our image. That we're going to of the the couple. I'm going to import that. We called it couple.jpg here. Import it. Bring it in. Bingo. Zoomed in a little bit too close on them. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off this first layer so we can't see it, which is our blue layer. And I'm going to move this image to the back so that I can see my red heart. See there, you can see where it's at. Actually get this positioned right. Just about right. Pretty much centered on it. And I could even size that down a hair if I wanted. There we go. We've got the heart and the outline centered up on that. I'm going to turn back on my fills now so you can see where the heart's at. I'm going to grab both of these. And I'm going to use... In my arrange tools, go to under clipping and tell it to clip. Now what we've done is we've created a clipping path of that exact photograph inside of that heart. And when we turn this layer back on, we also have the blue, which is going to represent our outline. So I'm going to just turn off our clipping layer initially here. I'm going to take this, which is going to be what we're going to print out on the bed. I'm going to put a stroke on it, a thick line stroke of about three hundredths of an inch. And we're going to do that 
in black. And then we're going to turn the fill off, turn it to invisible. And now we have our outlines here. And I turn back on our clipping path. All right. So I have both layers selected. Now I can take all of this. I have these two items selected. I'm going to duplicate. Slide this over to here, and then duplicate again, and I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. And then once that's done, pick this one up, move it over here between the other two. So now we've got three representations of the heart with the orientation. If I wanted to, I could actually grab all these, duplicate them, and slide them down and have six. So when I go to print now, what I would do is I would turn off my clipping path first, include visible and printable, and we'll see, turn this to printable, send this print job over, which will now will print out on the bed, and then we would turn off that layer and send this over, and it will now print on top of it. And as you can see, when I bring back up the black hearts, when you zoom in on this, we have a, a nice bleed right there. This black represents the edge of our actual item we're printing on. So we have an eighth of an inch bleed all the way around. So if this is not 100% accurate, we're still going to be fine. We're going to be covering the entire image. So there you have it. That's how we took a unique shaped item, the heart. We were able to get a good outline on it for positioning on the bed. And we use that same outline to create a clipping path of a photograph so that we get a full, full copy on that without having to have a large bitmap sticking out all over the place. It's, it's snagged down just to the exact size we need. There you have it.